I decided to study in the UK primarily for two reasons. I, I wanted to have sort of a cultural immersion experience in the UK for as long as I could remember, um, just to spend as much time and really soak up the culture. Um, and then secondly, it was kind of the, uh, the place to be for the career path that I wanted to go into. Well, I'd been to Heathrow once or twice before, but the meet and greet service was great because now I was here on my own, had no idea where the bus station was, where to go, uh, how to get to the university. Um, so that was helpful. It was straight after customs. There's a, a group with Brooke shirts, took the bus and got to campus. It was very nice. The facilities at, at Brooks um, for the course kind of stand out. There's, uh, it's advertised very well. Um, there's um, a lot of hands-on equipment that you may not get to use um, in most other universities with a more broad degree program. Um, so, for example, um, there was a seminar session where we got to go and use uh, a wind tunnel, a scale model wind tunnel. Um, I've been trained on how to use the four post suspension rig over at the Wheeler campus. Um, and then there's just a lot of race cars just kind of sat around that you get to look at and say, hmm, I wonder how they did that and things like that. So it's, it's definitely unique. The teaching experience, I think, is a little more focused because it is kind of a selected program. It's a very highly desired program. There's a lot of applications and so everybody that ends up being here in, in the um, classroom really wants to be here and so that's the the lecturers teach to that. They know that everybody's here and really committed to the course um, and so they'll just try to push push us as far as we can we can go. Clubs and societies that I'm involved in, uh, well I, men I mentioned Formula Student, uh, I was involved with that in the States, um, kind of came over to uh, to do that and, and the Brooks Formula Student team was kind of part of what, what brought me over as well, a, a good reputation and access to a lot of facilities um, as well that again we're, we're quite unique and positioned the team to be a top UK team. And then I'm also involved in the uh, Road Cycling Club. I've done a couple of competitions with them, uh, duathlon, uh, time trials and things like that. So settling into life in the UK is, um, is a, a bit challenging and not super difficult. I think the biggest thing for me personally was getting used to just how prevalent public transportation is, the bus system. Um, Dallas, Texas and most of the central United States is pretty much you have a car and you drive. So getting used to that and figuring out all the different bus routes that you'll need um, was a bit of a challenge. Um, but outside of that, it's, it's not too bad. Most things in Oxford I can, I can walk too easily, so that's nice as well. It's, it's a very diverse um, group uh, at Brooks. Uh, I met people from continental Europe, uh, Australia, Malaysia, all over the world. Uh, it, most people, again, through my course, um, but that's who I spend the most amount of time with. But it's been really great. It's given me, I wanted to get a cultural experience of the UK, but I've, I've kind of gotten cultural experiences from all different corners of the world as well at the same time. So that's, um, that's been something I didn't really expect as much, but I'm definitely glad that I had it. Top tips for international student. Definitely just meet people as soon as you're as soon as you're here. Uh, I know one of the first things I did was go on a walking tour like the day I got here and met four or five, six people that I hung around with pretty much all year. So yeah, just get involved as soon as you can, uh, particularly because you are so far from home. 